Hi, this is Professor Fernandez. Let's work on class notes D in lesson 19. In this last class notes of the lesson and really of the course, hooray, we are working on classifying the equilibrium point zero, zero for the system from examples, uh, the first two examples, class notes A and class notes B. And I want to compare the face portraits to the examples in the um, diagram above. And really just this is a, a way to connect everything together so that we um, we can see how, again, the eigenvalues for these linear systems completely determine what the phase portraits look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up. I have copied and pasted the phase portraits. Here they are in the previous uh, in examples, uh, the first two examples in the lesson. We drew these phase portraits in the videos for class notes A and class notes B. And I also wrote down here the eigenvalues that were associated with these two phase portraits. So what I'm going to do now is say, OK, how do we use this information? First of all, in both of these systems, as in all the systems in this lesson, there was only one equilibrium point. It was the point zero, 00. So to classify that equilibrium point means to identify it as one of the um, equilibrium points in this table. So is it a saddle? Is it a sink? Is it a source? You know, is it one of these six equilibrium points? Um, and each equilibrium point uh, category or type has a particular face portrait associated with it. And in the previous video for class note C, we talked a little bit about how these representative face portraits are derived. And we saw the connection to the eigenvalues being real distinct opposite signs or real and having the same sign. OK, so for this class notes, we're going back up here again. And so let's look at this first um, face portrait from class notes A over here. And what did we show uh, in that class notes? Well, we showed that the face portrait looks like that. We did a lot of work to get there. Um, which is great because we reviewed a lot of stuff. Uh, what if we wanted to classify this equilibrium point? Well, we go to the eigenvalues. So the eigenvalues are both real and they have the same sign. They're both negative. So if we go down to our handy table here, we're looking in this second column for real eigenvalues that are both negative. And that puts us in here. So this is a sink uh, based on this table. This is also sometimes called a stable node, which is the terminology that we used in that video. Um, and again, this was the phase portrait where no matter where you start as the initial condition, the orbits always push you eventually toward the origin. That is certainly what we just saw in uh, the first video in this lesson. So that's what um, this phase portrait shows here on the left. So I'm going to write here for A, we're going to call this a sink slash stable node. Okay. The stable node here is a bit more descriptive. You know, a sink is more like if you, you know, stood in front of your bathroom sink and you turn on the water and then you turn it off. You would see the water kind of just rush into the drain. Right, so no matter where the water starts, it rushes into the drain. That's kind of the 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 um, visual that goes along with this word sink. But stable node is more about stability, which again is a concept that um, is is completely part of a differential equations curriculum in general. Not necessarily part of an introductory course in differential equations like this one is, but certainly that content is in the textbook for this course if you're interested. Um, so let's talk about the uh, face portrait B here on the right hand side. This one looks qualitatively different. Not everything gets sucked into the origin. In fact, nothing gets sucked into the origin. Um, but, so let's look at its eigenvalues to help us classify it. These are real eigenvalues and they're opposite sign. So I'm going to scroll down to my table. I'm looking for eigenvalues that are real and opposite sign. You know, all the real eigenvalues, by the way, are on this part of the table. All of the complex ones are on this part of the table. So that's one nice thing to realize. So here is um, the setting that uh, we are in in class notes B. So real eigenvalues that have opposite signs. And that's a saddle. That's exactly what we called it in the video in class notes B. And indeed, here's the representative face portrait. Um, orbits come into the origin, and then they're pushed away. Orbits come into the origin, and then they're pushed away. So that is exactly what we found in this um, 
um, face portrait in class notes B. So we're going to call this a saddle. Okay, that pretty much completes the video. I just want to point out though that you might be tempted in the future when you are asked to um, you know, draw the face portrait of one of these linear systems, you might be tempted to you know, just find the eigenvalues, oops, um, just find the eigenvalues and then you know, let's say draw this or, or draw that if you find you know, these combinations of eigenvalues. I would definitely encourage you not to do that because you know, just looking at these two examples, right? Um, the orientation here of the stable node or the sink equivalently is different from this one. Um, same thing with the saddle here. The orientation of this saddle is different from this one. So I keep, I keep trying to underscore this point in the lesson notes by pointing out that these are representative face portraits of these cases of the eigenvalues, okay? They are not meant to be the face portrait. So you would still, and you should, if you're asked for the face portrait for these linear systems, you would still do everything we did. You would find the eigenvalues, you would find the eigenvectors, you would do the type of analyses that we did in the first two examples in this lesson. But if you're just asked to classify the equilibrium point of the linear system, then what you're being asked for is what which one of these six names does the system look like? And again, that's useful because if somebody tells you, oh, um, I was working on a practice problem yesterday and the system had a sink at zero, zero, then you have some rough idea of what the phase portrait looks like. But you know, to get the full phase portrait, you would have to, in fact, go in and find the eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and do the analysis we did.